Hi everybody, Ryan Balaji back here at Golf News Net. Thanks for checking us out. We have a new thing to talk about for you. We just got from our friends at Tech Tech Tech. And Tech 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 is a company that's been making some really good, very affordable laser rangefinder units for a number of years now. You might find them on Amazon.com. We usually hawk them in our gift guides, usually for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Father's Day, because they're such a reasonable price that if you're not willing to spend that four, five, six hundred dollars to get another GPS or, or laser rangefinder unit from another manufacturer that costs a lot more and has basically the same features as a Tech Tech Tech, you can hop into this company's series of units and get some really good features for a reasonable amount of money, typically under two hundred dollars, which I think is a great value. And as someone who wants to save you more money playing golf, so you can actually play more golf. Uh, I'm very excited to have this new Tech 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 unit in from us. So the folks at Tech 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 reached out, had seen some of our reviews and commentary in the past on their units, and said, hey, we want to send you this new unit that we've got, this new laser rangefinder product that we've got. Are you interested? The answer is, of course, yes. I want to tell you about that. So this is the ULTX Golf Laser Rangefinder. Obviously, really, it's just a laser rangefinder. You can use it for pretty much anything. You can use it for shooting deer if you wish, but... This is typically designed to play golf with. And the, the cool thing about the, the ULTX is that it does two things. One, it has a slope function in it. And it has a slope function in it such that you're allowed to use it when it's tournament legal so that you don't have the slope fun reading function on it because that's illegal under USGA and RNA rules. And then you have a slope ready function so that when you're playing casually, a practice round, whatever, you can have that slope function on it and benefit from it. The other thing that is unique to this unit that's new is that it has kind of a vibration technology on it when it finds the flag stick. So that's kind of become popular with other companies in the space. You've probably heard about Joel technology from our friends at Bushnell and Tech 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 has put that in here with the ULTX. And so when you hit your target, when you hit the flag stick, it will kind of give you a little bzz, so that way you know you've hit the target you anticipate because I don't know about you, but I've done this enough times where I've shot a target and I know I'm wrong, but I'm getting a reading back, so it's got to be right, and I wind up shooting it three or four other times if I don't have that vibration technology to let me know I've hit the right thing, and I wind up having to spend more time than it takes, usually more time than it's worth, to figure out a yardage. So with this, with the vibration technology now called Flag Seeker in these Tech 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 units, I can know right away when I've hit the intended target. Of course, it does all of the things you might expect for a normal rangefinder to do. It has your normal, just straight shot mode. It has your scan mode, which not as many people utilize, although they probably should because it helps you kind of scan a panorama with the unit and you can see different yardages to a variety of different targets. So if you're particularly looking for like, how far that bush is out there, where is that tree out there, how far is that water, you can kind of do that in a single moment through an entire scan instead of having to shoot again and again and again and again to find certain targets. Of course, there's the flag seeker mode, which brings into that uh, vibration component that we just talked about. And then it has the slope mode, which inside this nice LCD display will actually give you the actual slope, the actual yardage, the plays like yardage, and give you a good idea of the difference in what the laser thinks the actual yardage will play to and what the actual yardage is. So Tech 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 stuff all comes in a, a nice handy case. Of course, you can just kind of bring that over like that for your extra layer protection so that you don't have to worry about it falling out. It's got a nice little component here in the back so you can run it through like a little strap through it so make sure it stays on your bag. And then of course, it just opens up like your usual case. And so this is fresh out from the shipping. So this is the unit itself. So if you get a warranty, you get a two-year warranty with this, so you can just go ahead and register it online, which is great. And then this is a fairly lightweight unit. This isn't the most lightweight laser rangefinder I've ever used, but it's, it's pretty close. It you know, fits in the palm of your hand pretty easily. Has a nice little mini bevel here so that it holds your thumb pretty well. Not quite as much detail thought into this as you might get with Again, a higher-end laser rangefinder, but that's why you're paying for that. Uh, you're paying for those extra design components that someone got a six-figure salary for 
but this certainly does the job. It has two very simple buttons on it. It has the power button, which means you're going to shoot to your target, and then it has, you can change your modes here, so you can change that over. And then, it's simple as this, pulling out this little piece here, whether you want the slope on or you want the slope off. So, versus tournament legal versus having the slope function in it, very easy to do. Similar to what you've seen probably with other manufacturers who do tournament legal, slope range finders where you can turn the slope function on or off. More often than not, you actually have to pull the whole thing out and then you hold on to that somewhere else. The nice thing about this is it's integrated, it's really easy to use. Boom, done, all set. Simple, pull it open, get your eye in there, and then this has a 6x zoom on it. So for someone like me who kind of has some eye issues, I can kind of fiddle with this to get this where I need it. And then, of course, you've got your battery housing here for your, your typical battery. So this unit is very affordable. Again, you're talking a reasonable price to get involved on a laser range finder that if you don't have one, I don't know why you don't. I play with so many golfers at my club and elsewhere who don't have a laser range finder, and it winds up that they rely on me a lot through the round because I'm willing to shoot the target for them, and I give them a, a range finder unit, wh whichever one I'm gaming at that point, and they shoot it, they're like, this is really easy, I should get one. I go, yeah, you should, because then I wouldn't have to shoot it for you. Now, of course, you can kind of become a little, def little dependent on these. There was a point where I was shooting pretty much everything on the golf course with the laser range finder, and frankly, it kind of got out of hand. <laughs> and now I've kind of scaled back. I, I tend to shoot most frequently, obviously on par three, but 100 yard and in shots because, first of all, I hit a lot of those over the course of a round. But second of all, those are the ones where the details matter most. That's where I'm going to score. That's where I'm going to get benefits. With plus or minus two or three or four yards off of a sprinkler isn't as big of a deal when you're hitting from 150, 175, 200. Thankfully, I mean, you're just thankful to hit the green at that point. But with those close-up shots, I want to be sure I am exact. If I've got a 42-yard shot, I want to hit it so I know it's going to go 42 yards with the bounce and the stop, as opposed to you know, a 155-yard shot. If I hit a 151, great. If I hit a 147, probably still pretty good. But there's less margin for error once you get closer. So that's really, in my mind, like, there and on par threes, where these laser rangefinders have the most benefit to them. Anyhow, check out Tech Tech Tech. You can find them again a lot of times on Amazon, really good prices there. And of course, you can find them other major golf manufacturers, golf retailers selling these products as well. So leave us a comment or review whether you use laser rangefinders or not. Um, maybe you're a GPS guy or gal and you prefer to use that too. We'd love to hear from you. And you can follow us on Twitter at Golf News Net. I'm Ryan Balgie saying thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>